HR department is one of the most important departments in any company. HR admin has a large volume of redundant work answering different simple questions and performing a lot of simple repetitive tasks such as validating holidays, creating certificates and others. This translates into large volumes of tedious work for HR employees, delayed SLAs and it turns into a cycle of never-ending backlog. Our HR Assistant Showcase is based on our belief, a robot for every person. UiPath integrates with a chatbot to offer employees the possibility to use automation in their day-to-day -day work. The employee doesn't need to interact with any legacy system. They just simply talk to the chatbot and make requests. Under the Auto Possible concept, our HR Assistant has three important features. Holiday leave with manager approval, certificate creation, and Q&A with self-learning. For this showcase, we've simulated a small company. We have George Jetson, our very high-valued employee, Mr. Spacely, his manager, and Rosie Jetson, our support specialist. In this case, we are going to be using Droid chatbot technology. The UiPath robot in the background will connect to the chatbots and will also do the actions necessary to complete tasks. The purpose of this showcase is to show you how easy it is to interact with the UiPath robots in order to start automations and get tasks done without actually needing to interact with the robots. George is going to interact with the UiPath robots using the chatbot interface. Basically, it's similar to any kind of chat interface similar to WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger or any type of chatbot interface that you would normally use. George is going to request a vacation. He needs to enter when the first and last days of his vacation are. In the background, the UiPath robot connects to the HR platform and checks if George has enough days available in order to take his, his vacation. Then he comes back to George, confirming that there are enough days available and asking to confirm the period. George will, of course, confirm. And George is asked to have someone replace him for that period. The robot has already checked the HR platform that Bobby Jetson is a suitable replacement. Since George is in complete agreement, he's going to say yes. At this point, before the vacation goes into the system, Mr. Spacely, George's manager, gets a request for approval. So he needs to approve George's vacation. Now, since George is a very high-valued employee, Mr. Spacely is simply going to approve. Imagine George and Mr. Spacely could have this conversation, can do this process without actually needing to be in front of a computer, without needing to log into the HR platform, without needing to go through interesting hoops to get to this position. Once the request has been approved by George's manager, the UiPath robot in the background takes over and actually enters the vacation time into the system. This is one example of an action that can be easily triggered using a chatbot interface. We can do other more simpler examples like asking for information. Let's say George needs to take a trip once he comes back from his vacation, of course. He would need to be aware of the travel policy. So he would go in the chatbot interface and ask directly what our travel policy is. He will receive a document which he can look into. But what happens if there are questions to which the chatbot doesn't know the answer? Let's say George needs to go to Africa and he would need to know what's the exact per diem for Africa. Since the chatbot doesn't know the answer, it'll ask Rosie, our support specialist, for the answer to this question. Rosie is then going to give the answer directly. George is then going to get his answer. And then in the background, the UiPath robot will start teaching the chatbot 
so that next time it gets this question, it can answer it directly without need for human intervention. We can see the robot logging into the Druid platform and going through all the steps necessary to teach the chatbot. This is one way of learning. We call this self-learning. And this is useful because in an organization, you can only think of so many questions to teach the chatbot yourself. There will always be those which you haven't thought of. And this way, you can use the actual questions received from your employees in order to teach the chatbot. Of course, there's also the option to teach the chatbot automatically by using a database or a spreadsheet or a Google Sheet, whatever is useful for you. You can use UiPath robots to teach the robot multiple questions and answers and even iterations by using tabled data. Up until now, we've seen the UiPath robot interact with the Druid chatbot and the HR platform. But what if there are multiple applications necessary to complete one step? For example, what if George wants to go to America and he needs a visa? Well, he would need a visa certificate, of course. He would request this certificate in the same way that we ask questions in the chatbot interface. For the purposes of this showcase, we only have one certificate available. George is going to choose the US visa. Once the request is made, the UiPath robot in the background logs firstly into the HR platform so that it can get the data necessary for the certificate. Normally, you would have an HR person do this. Imagine that an HR person would need to log into the system and then copy paste all of the information necessary from the web portal to a Word document. In this case, we're looking at an unattended robot that no one would actually see working. This would mean that our HR person would not be stuck doing repetitive work. Once the certificate has been processed, George has received a link to the certificate. To use chatbots to trigger automations is just one way to work with UiPath robots. There are multiple ways to easily trigger automations. Hope to see you next time for another exciting showcase brought to you by UiPath Immersion Labs. Thank you and goodbye.